I don't want to talk about this. I don't know. I could talk about this for hours, but I hate every minute that I talk about this. So whenever I open up YouTube, there's the inspiration tab and it calls to me like a succubus. And sometimes I click on it. And every time I've clicked on it, I hate what I see. I hate it. Um, it gives me a whole bunch of prompts for videos that I've already created. It's like, you should make this video but again and I'm like oh my god this is useless and so I go back to my comment section and I find an actual like video topic but then there is like another part of it where it is constantly recommending that I make a video on how to add uh, how to add AI to your workflow with comics and I don't get it I just don't get it I hate it I hate it so much I learned about AI live streamers recently and why would you want that? I don't get it at all. It's just insane to me. Like live streaming. Live stream is, is ridiculously hard. It's about building a community with human connection. Like why are we removing the humans from this? Like what is this o ocean boiling idea that we've come up with? I don't get it. And it's the same thing with comics. It's like, is there not enough comics in the world? Is there not enough people desperate to show their art and like express themselves? And like, I get it. It sucks if you can't do art, you know, it sucks. We're not all going to be great amazing the best artists ever it is a skill and there is some level of talent involved in it but you just need to make crappy art and just be fine with that okay like i don't get it and i hate talking about it because the kind of people who defend it are like the kind of people that i don't I don't want that smoke. I don't want to talk to you. Like, I don't, I don't know how to reason you out of that position. And all the people against it are already here. So like, you know, like I'm, I'm just preaching to the choir and that's all I want to do. Honestly, all I want to do right now is play Rain World. So like, I just need to do some choir preaching for a bit. <laughs> but yeah, like I have dabbled with AI before. I played around with it because there's people in my life who are really into it and like I wanted to you know just see what's up with it and just mess around with it but like after really learning about all of the ramifications and all of the other just like aspects to it um especially in like terms of environment in terms of like uh the questionable way in which art has been fed into it and just like the general ick factor i get from the audience around it like i've just walked away from it and my experience using it i didn't use it really for art i thought i used it to look into like idea generation like spitballing and stuff i found it useful for when i was doing like coding stuff and i was being lazy i could get it to put things into order instead of making myself do that but I can just do that myself. I don't really need a robot's help to do so. But like as far as idea generation goes, it's not that helpful. It's not useful. <laughs> it's frustrating most of the time. It's questionable whether or not it's telling you the truth. It comes up with very stereotypical ideas. If I'm looking for like ideas, I can just research things. I think research is a lot more interesting. I've come up with a lot more unique ideas by just reading books and I also have the benefit of getting to read a book and learn something new. I love nonfiction books and I've been inspired learning about all sorts of things. I got really into reading about institutionalization. I was reading Foucault. I was being a real nerd. And then I've also read a whole bunch of stuff about trees. I love... Um, what is that book called? Uh, it's about figs. There's a great book about figs. I learned tons. I just love that stuff and it really connects me to the world. Whereas like, I feel like AI just pulls me away from it. You feel so like, like, like at the end of the day, I think 
we have to like contest with the fact that like AI art is eventually going to be like indistinguishable. Uh, sometimes it is indistinguishable from like real art. And sometimes you are going to like a piece that you see until you realize it's a art and it has no soul. But like when it comes down to it, like that's the real thing that bugs me is that it just has no soul. And people who laugh at you when you say that, like there's such a pro there's so much of like the problem when it comes to art is like just the art is like so integral to like the human spirit and you feel, I feel so silly saying this but it's so true and I, I just don't want to read a bunch of comics written by robots <laughs> I don't it's not interesting it doesn't say anything it's a weird chimera hybrid monster thing and I don't want to engage with it I will read 500 comics with with like amateur level art i will read all of those before i read a single ai comic and enjoy it and i know how ai comic workflows work like i know that a lot of it is you draw kind of your base layer and then you get the ai to add a bunch of nonsense on top of that basically it basically renders it out and you can tell you can tell because there is like an aspect of comics that is very different to a lot of things uh compositionally and you can tell when someone has weak composition even if you put on this um rendering coat of paint on it it makes everything shiny you can tell the wonky anatomy that like the anatomy that like the AI is trying to work with. It's really funny. I'll give it that. I think if AI has done anything good, it's that it has given some acceptable people to, to acceptable comics to make fun of again. I've never felt great about accusing people of being tracers or like I don't really care when people trace in general. I think tracing can be like a hampering to your learning process when it comes to art but tracing at least is some amount of like learning to like follow over some lines maybe download some sort of artistic ability into your head but like popping things into like a AI and like see what comes out until you like it but not understanding why you like it what makes a composition good how the flow of comics works it's like I it's it's silly and it, it I do enjoy looking up people's AI comics and getting a bit of a laugh out of them I get it when you're young and you feel uncomfortable about your abilities um you want to just look good um you want to be impressive but it's like AI is not gonna get you anywhere when you use AI you're not learning anything you are just cutting off your own wings uh for no reason for no reason whatsoever and it just floods the whole comicing space with a bunch of garbage that no one wants to read as soon as you learn an a, a comic is ai like i don't know who wants to read it i mean i guess some people but like i find that deeply disturbing and yeah like it ruins it for people who are like trying to find entry points into comics because comic and jobs get taken over by like AI um, entry level especially and it's just silly and I hate it and that's kind of all I wanted to say on the matter I want to play Rain World <laughs> that's that's all there is to it <laughs> thank you for listening and um, let's see if YouTube start. Uh, let's see if Gemini. Let's see if YouTube's AI uh, wants me to make more videos like this because it probably does. You know, it's whatever gets the clicks. And also, like, I don't want to harass people. Okay, I don't want to harass people, and I don't want to accuse people of using AI for whether or not if like if there's like no evidence that they do so or sketchy evidence. I d I don't want to do that. Um, that said, when people say they use AI, like, I do like to look at your comic and laugh, and, um, 
I, I, I do like to do that. I'm sorry. It's just, I'm not going to stop. <laughs> I'm going to be a bully in this one instance, okay? Anyways, I'll see you in the next one. Um, maybe, oh, I know what I wanted to talk about. I'll talk about that. Uh, I'm going to, I wanted to talk about, um, animation and how I can tell animators apart from, uh, people who started in comics. I, I can, I, I wanted to talk about how you can spot an animator, um, when they're, when they're making a comic, because I've, I've made comments on this before, so I thought that'd be an interesting topic. Let me know if you agree. Also, you know, I don't know. <laughs> I'm, I'm leaving. I'm leaving. Okay, goodbye.